Hey guys, Coach Sleep here. When we're gonna do a demonstration today. And the demonstration is going to see what happens when we add an external force to an object that's already balanced. Um, we're gonna be doing this with a bowling ball and a meter stick. All right, so let's start over here and let's look what happens when I just roll a bowling ball. From the moment it leaves my hand, we would say this object is balanced. All right? We see that the bowling ball is moving at a constant velocity. All right? So when the bowling ball is moving at a constant velocity, we know that it has to be balanced. Now, if we look at this, what are the forces acting on this? Well, we know gravity is going down and the normal force is going up. Are there any forces acting on it in the left and right direction or the x direction? No, there's not. Now we can neglect friction because it's rolling and as you see, it's clearly moving at a constant velocity. And remember, if anything's moving at a constant velocity, it's clearly balanced. Well, what happens if I add an external force? So I'm going to roll this again, but this time, I'm going to start hitting it with my roller. So guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll the bowling ball at a constant velocity. When it gets to about here, I'm going to start applying an external force in the same direction of motion. So what do you think is going to happen? And... So what happened? We saw between here, the starting point, and here, it was moving at a constant velocity. Then I started to apply a force. Now this is the only force acting on it, in the x direction. We saw the bowling ball start to increase its speed. Now again, when an object changes its speed, we call that an acceleration. So the bowling ball began to accelerate and increase its speed. All right, that might be a little harder to tell. So let's look at this example right here. Right now, exactly how fast is the bowling ball going? It's going exactly zero meters per second. Now again, it's clearly balanced because it's not moving. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start applying a force in the x direction again. And example, did the bowling ball change its velocity? The answer is yes. It has to be. Because originally, it was not moving at all. If it wasn't moving at all, its velocity is zero. The moment I applied a force to it, it began to move. Therefore, causing an acceleration. Every time I hit it after that, I continued to apply a force, it continued to accelerate. And by the time I was done, it was moving its fastest. The last example I can do is what if I give the bowling ball an initial velocity, so it's moving at a constant velocity, and then I apply a force in the opposite direction of the motion. What do you think is gonna happen? Is the velocity gonna change? Is it going to speed up or is it going to decrease? Let's find out. So I'm going to start hitting the object right here. So let's see what it looks like. All right. As you see, what happened is the motion was this way, going to the right. My force applied was to the left. So the bowling ball was definitely moving originally at some constant speed. Then I began to hit it until it stopped. Therefore, there was an acceleration. 
slowing the object down. So basically learning from this demonstration guys, I hope that you see that when an external force is acting on something and it's no longer balanced, we call this an unbalanced object, that it begins to change its velocity. And when a velocity changes, we call that acceleration. 